Hey, kid. I'm nothing but your damn puppet. Is that what you think? Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, kid. Who told you such a thing? Webb and Rudabaugh, before I plugged them both. They're dead? Just like you're gonna be. Kid, listen to me. That preacher you're looking for is in that room right now with Jenny. She lured him there. I was just coming to get you. Liar. <coughs> Jenny! You the one from the steamboat? <laughs> yes. Bring him to me. I had to waste a perfectly good whore to get to the truth about you. Bastard! I could hardly believe it when she told me. Ned White, still alive after all those years. <laughs> now he's as dead as you're gonna be. <laughs> Hang him in the morning for the murder of the girl. The old hoodoo's got the touch of a blacksmith, don't he? What did you do? Torched his printing press. You saw it. A subtle act of protest to silence the mouth of tyranny. That's soapy. He's educated. How come he's in there? It's a little game we play. They lock me up, and I find a way out. And you, my good man? How did you incur the mayor's disfavor? I killed Webb and Rudabaugh. Gonna kill Hoodoo, too, and a certain Jack Preacher, and that one-eyed pig they work for. Thomas Magruder. Railroad man. He's taken over the territory. Us and the Apaches are the only ones fighting back. Count me in, too. As soon as we find the way out of here. If we're gonna get out of here tonight, that deputy's gotta die. See if you can grab him when he gets close to the boat. Lacey from the HJ sent over some chicken for your last meal. <laughs> but I'm afraid there isn't much left. <laughs> Besides, you don't want to shit yourself when you swing from that tree tomorrow, do you? <laughs> Sneak that done crack that safe. Give me the keys or you'll be slipping on your own guts. I don't got them, I swear. Hoodoo took them for safekeeping. So, so killing me won't do no good, you see. You'll still swing tomorrow. If you grab that badge he so enjoys degrading, you can use its pin to pick the cell lock. I'll tell you how if you promise to free me as well. Know what that makes you, partner? Tail! This human lockbox they got me in is gonna be a little tougher. I'm afraid you're probably gonna have to blast me out of here if you hold fair to R.D. I'll hold fair. Let me stash some horses beneath the bridge, then I'll scrounge out back of the powder shop for something to blast you out. I ain't in much need to fight, but if you get me out of here, I gotta hide out up in the mountains. Reckon that makes us partners, so be, we'll be right about picking this lock. Now just give it a Jimmy, and she ought to turn loose. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet as candy. Grab your gear before you head out, kid. It's on the deputy's desk. You'll do yourself a favor if you can stay out Need of sight. Try and bring these horses back real quiet, like. All three of us will need a horse if we want any chance of getting out of town. All three of us will need a horse if we want any chance of getting out of town. There once was a dog yes. city.
That's one. We still need two more. Just one more and we can get out of here. You might want to create a distraction before you get near that powder shop. Why don't you fire up the livery with a whiskey bomb? That ought to give Hoodoo's men something to do while we get the hell out of here. Maybe a fire at the livery will draw folks' attention. I made the charge too strong. It was nice knowing you, Soap.
video. Gentlemen, I regret to say this is where I fall. The calmer climbs of dear old Dodger calling. So long, Soap. I wish you well. <laughs> Come on, kid, move your ass. They'll be out looking for us soon. I'm taking you to meet Clay Allison. But Clay and Magruder go way back. Magruder's been strong-arming the whole territory looking for something, but no one knows what he's after.